Welcome back to Wake Up Charlotte Weekend, everybody. Today we are making ice cream in a bag, which I, we planned this out about a month ago, so ironically Tuesday is probably going to be the hottest day of the year. Mm -hmm. So a great activity you can do with the kids this week if they're still out of school. I know CMS doesn't go back until not tomorrow, but next Monday, so plenty of time. So we're going to walk you through how to make ice cream in a bag. Okay. So first things first, you're going to need a gallon plastic bag, but you're also going to need a smaller one. For this, I used a quart size. Sandwich size would work, but you'd probably have a hard time fitting all the ingredients. So first things first, I want you to pick up that smaller bag in front of you. So that's a quart size bag. And inside that, you're going to put this here. It's about one tablespoon of sugar. Okay. You can put that in your bag. Here you go. Mm -hmm. I pre-portioned the ingredients to make it easier. Um, you're also going to do about a half a cup of half and half. That's what's in the cup there. Okay. And you can use half and half, or if you prefer, you can do whole milk, heavy cream, regular milk. Um, I chose half and half because it seemed like, you know, it was still going to taste good, but still getting a little bit of that fat, you know, in there. And then you're going to do uh, one teaspoon there of, or actually a quarter teaspoon, that is, of vanilla extract. I'm so excited. I know. A lot of this info, of course, uh, so we, I'm going to write it down and put it all over on our website, WCNC.com. Okay, so now close that bag. Okay. Make sure it is airtight. Okay. All right, now take the gallon bag. That's the other one in front of you. You can kind of put that one off to the side. And you're going to put this much ice in there. It is pre-portioned out because okay. I'm a planner. But this is four cups of ice. So I'm going to put that in here for you. And bang, bang. Okay. So you can hear all that ice. You need as much ice as possible because this will be important to the eventual trying to freeze that ice cream. And then last thing that you have to add is this. This is a half of a cup of salt. To and my you're gonna little add, bag? No, to the ice. To my big bag? Okay. Yeah. You're gonna add that to the ice and then you're gonna shake it up a little. Once it's, just, you don't close it yet, but just a little shake, shake. Okay, cool. All right, now put the smaller bag into your bag of ice and salt and then close it up and seal the second one to make sure it's all sealed up. Okay, now, what's going to happen over the next, well, it's actually closer to about 15, 20 minutes, mm -hmm. is that your heavy cream, sugar, vanilla extract combo is actually going to turn into ice cream. Oh, wow. You're going to want to shake it every five or so minutes if you're doing this at home parents just to kind of make sure that the mixture happens. But eventually what's going to happen is I have two examples in front of me is that you're going to start to get a little hardening, so to speak. So okay. I'm going to open up this bag and we're going to kind of see. So can you feel on that and tell people, describe what it feels like? I mean, it, it definitely has more of that ice cream texture. Okay, so this is what happens. So when you put salt and you add it into the ice, essentially it lowers the freezing point of the ice cream. Mm -hmm. So it allows for it to melt a lot quicker, the ice that's in the bag. But what happens is that people don't often know this, but ice, the process of melting, it actually makes the surrounding air colder. Okay. So if you have a bag like this that just has ice, feel the mixture. I didn't put any salt in this one. Now see that one's still kind of I mean, like water, liquid. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the salt adds that additional coldness essentially to the ice. It speeds up the belting, which releases it and makes it colder and allows for things to solidify up. Very so, cool. In honor of the fact that we made ice cream and it is Miss Kaylin's birthday on this upcoming Tuesday. I brought sprinkles. Oh, you are so sweet. We're gonna eat. All right, you wanna try it? With okay, a little sprinkle. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Yay. Tell me what you think. <laughs> it might not, it yeah. really it might not tastes like, like ice cream. But... No, like it's actually really great. Yeah, it is. It's, it's pretty it's good. It's really good. Cheers. Cheers, to... my friend. <laughs> Making our own ice cream. And again, if you, of course, want to do this at home, maybe keep the kids cool this weekend or this upcoming week, this will be over on our website, WCNC.com.